Okay, Dave, this one's uh, for you. This is a preview of the 1923 Model 45 McLaughlin Buick Special. It was made for export, hence it is right-hand drive. So here's a video of it. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is the outside. In a second, we'll take a look at the interior and then the engine. Okay, now we'll take a look at the interior. Uh, the windshield wiper is uh, manual. And you can see the wood steering wheel. It's an aluminum center hub. The dash panel, and then we'll go around to the other side. I've got rubber uh, mat on the floorboards. At some point I'll probably change those out to uh, battleship linoleum. Uh, the interior is all leather. It's uh, all been redone. Very comfortable and spacious as you might imagine. Got a nice big window in back and uh, all the top bows are all exposed and they have marine varnish on them and that's the way they uh, came from the factory. And there's the robe rail and it's uh, leather covered on the uh, arms that go across and that's all deteriorated. I have to send that off to get them redone. Okay, here's the engine compartment. This is the right hand side. Uh, what you're looking at there is the uh, air pump. A lot of the cars in Canada had those since the roads were so bad versus using the tire pump they use that. There's the distributor and starter generator. A little gas can. There's the coil on top. I mounted it on the front so I could get access to it. It's actually supposed to be inside the car, but uh, it's better there, at least for me. And nobody really knows that it should be inside. 
except you and me. Okay, we'll close it and go the other side. Uh, these lights here are uh, standard for English cars. Uh, they're on when the car is running. The English always wanted to have lights on cars. They were the first ones to have daytime running lights. And here's the other side of the engine. And you notice I don't have the heat unit hooked up to the exhaust. It's just a, a pain to try to work with. And you really don't need it with today's modern gas. Carburetor runs good, actually it doesn't leak. And I put in the uh, glass sediment filter just so I could see the uh, vacuum unit working and pulling gas into the vacuum tank. And I can also tell if uh, my gas is dirty. Okay, we'll take one look inside again from another angle. There's the uh, tool door over there. There's the dash again. I did add a period clock. I screwed it in. I didn't want to put a hole in the, the dash. There's the uh, little glove compartment. And here is the back seat again. Here's the uh, bows on the outside. Uh, one time they were all nickel plated. There is a little nickel left on them. Uh, they look good just as they are. And the little opera window. So anyway, Dave, that's uh, the big tour. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And will serve as a reference for your car.